Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mike, and thanks for jumping on here with me this morning. You know, I watch so many agents get so frustrated in this business. And I think much of the frustration comes from their belief that they're doing all the right things, uh, but they're not getting the results that they desire. I'm doing all the right things, but I'm not getting the results. What's going on? In many cases, I actually agree with them. They are doing the right things. But the problem usually comes from one of three areas. Uh, the three areas would be they're doing the right things, but they're not doing them consistently enough. They do them occasionally, but it's really the power of consistency in this business. I promise you it is. Um, scale would be number two. They're doing the right things. They're just not doing them with enough people. The, their scale isn't enough to actually give themselves a chance at a reasonable uh, level of success. And the primary reason is because less than 3% of the population is going to move this year. So, I mean, for every 100 people that you're touching, it's only three people that are even considering a move. So you've got to be touching enough people. Your scale has to be there, or you will be doing the right things, but not getting enough results. And the third area is really what I want to focus on this week. It's follow-up. Yeah, their follow-up. They're doing the right things. Their follow-up's just lacking. And it's big-ticket sales. I mean, follow-up's just... All three of these areas are really important. They're critical. Uh, but I want to focus on giving you this week a seven-step follow-up campaign that will, if followed, establish you as the top of mind, credible expert with your people. And this is so important. It's, it actually scares me. It's so important. Because if you don't do this, and I mean all seven parts of the follow-up campaign, and I get it that it's hard, and I also get that most people don't do hard. They, very few people will actually welcome, embrace, and do hard. But I guess I'm just talking to those very few people. If you don't do it, you're bound to fail. It's inevitable. And that's why it scares me so much. I can look back over my career and actually get scared by it, how easily it would have been for significant events to not have happened. How easy it would have been. And it scares me for you. So I want to give you a seven-step follow-up campaign. I'm going to tell you all seven steps right now. And then each day this week, we're going to dive into two of them. Okay? So the first part of the CRM or the follow-up campaign is your CRM. Without it, and this is why it's the first part, without it, you're not going to be able to implement the other six parts. You're just not. You're going to want to. You're going to wish you could. You're not going to be able to do it. Everybody's got to get in there, and you're building as much contact information as you have on each person, and you're building notes on each person. But the other seven parts are, number two, a text video. Number three, a phone call to set up stacking meetings. If you haven't read the seven levels of communication, you need to. Number four, yeah, handwritten note dropped in the mail. Uh, why? It's a second chance to give them your business card. Number five, your weekly embedded video message that shows up in their inbox, in their email. Mm -hmm. You're coming in at number six, your personal, not third party crap, your personal monthly newsletter. And number seven, we're going to talk about the effective uses of social media. Okay, there's your seven step follow up campaign. We're going to talk about two of them Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of this, this week. Today, just that CRM. Look, here's the truth without it, you're not going to be able to do this. And that's going to lead to a lot of frustration and this gnawing feeling that I'm doing a lot of the right things, but I'm not getting the results I wanted. Of course you're not. You weren't able to implement an effective follow-up campaign. You've just got a bunch of people that you've met and 
this is where pressure comes from, I think. The pressure to make such a memorable first impression that they remember you when the time comes. And they, they're so impressed with you that they recommend you to their network. Oh my gosh, off of one meeting or a few meetings? I mean, who's that good? And that's pressure. No. If you use your CRM correctly, you get everybody that you're connected to on the planet in there. Now, not today, of course. Let's don't be ridiculous. This is an ongoing project that never ends. The rest of your career, you will be continually building out your CRM. You'll meet new people. The people that you already had in there will have life events and you'll want to get those notes in there so that they're in front of you when you're interacting with those people. Their contact information will grow. You will access more information and it'll change over time. It's a never ending project. You welcome that and you dedicate a certain amount of time every day. See, we're going to tag right back into the consistency. Every day you're going to chip around, chip away at this. I mean, it's the old joke, right? How do you eat an elephant? We well, eat it one bite at a time. You're never going to be done with this. And you're not going to let perfect be the enemy of the good. You're going to carve out a little bit of time every day in which you work on this because it's so important. Without this, you're not going to be able to implement the other six parts of the campaign. And you're going to put a lot of pressure on yourself and you're going to waste a tremendous amount of opportunity. Now, which CRM? You know, honestly, I don't really give a damn. I don't think there's one that's better than all the others. I think there's different ones that do different little tricks and uh, you should use whatever CRM you want to. I mean, here at our company, we're going to give you Moxie Works for free. But if you said, hey, I've already learned another product and I don't want to change from that, or this other CRM does a little trick for me, which I greatly value, so I want to stay with it, I don't really care. I don't think there's one CRM that trumps all the others. I think all that really matters is that you're using one that you will use. Because I guess it doesn't matter all the tricks and bells and whistles that your CRM has if you never use it, right? Folks, the rest of this week, we're going to dive into an effective follow-up campaign because this is going to drive your career. Don't miss it. I know you want it to be something bigger and more mystical. No, it's all, it's all in the follow-up. It is all in the follow-up. But you aren't going to do anything the rest of this program without an effective CRM that you're using every day. But I guess if you did, that would be an example of going out there and making it happen for yourself.